Hi, it's your girl Ray. So it's like eleven thirty. I just had soju and rice wine, and I came back, and I have some tea. So, according to the title, you can see I think it's time for some story time. So let's get it. So basically, I mean y'all can see from the title, so there was this guy that I met off this app. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a dating app, but it didn't really state that it was. But I wasn't there to meet someone to date. I was there because I was bored and I never really met anyone off that app because I just would always go into it like maybe once a month for fun to just see stuff but then I kind of met this guy so I met him and we were of the same age and so I think like the moment we started talk we exchanged cacao and then we met like the next day or was it two days later something like that yeah so it was something like that like we met immediately kind of so we met and we had dinner i mean we didn't really hit it off straight away because i'm like that kind of person where when i meet someone new if i'm still not comfortable with you then i kind of take some time to like get comfortable and to have a conversation unless the other person makes me comfortable and and then I like you know I just go full on me you know me. so I met him and we had dinner but you know it's kind of awkward because we didn't really talk yeah so because he was in Singapore for a business trip oh yeah he's Korean yeah so he was in Singapore for a business trip I think it was like his last two weeks already so he hadn't been to Orchard Road so I said okay why not let's just have dinner and then I can bring you around we can I can show you because you haven't been so we had dinner and then we walked and then we ended up at like a bar for drinks so I guess alcohol always helps to have conversations so well we met I mean we went to that bar <laughs> and we had dreams and then we had a conversation so this guy he tells me that it's hard for him to meet a girl because he's ugly but i mean he wasn't that ugly he was like average so he's telling me and he was like oh he was thankful that i met him blah 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 and he was telling me that oh he's actually interested in meeting me more and all that i'm like I'm fine as friends or whatever so we met the next day for dinner and we like had drinks and yeah that's it again and I think like a few days later I think it was like a Friday night so I was at work and because I work in FMB so it's really tiring so I was like telling him oh I'm really tired oh I have like body aches and blah 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 and he was telling me like oh i'm very good at massages i can give you a massage blah, blah, blah. i'm like oh okay fine and he was like telling me to oh you can come over to my hotel after work we can have supper i mean supper is dinner for me basically and then he could you know listen so well i did go and meet him so i went to meet him we had supper and I went back to his hotel and yeah he gave me a massage which was really awkward because it's just silence the entire time and it was just that so I stayed over but it was just awkward because nothing happened he just like yeah there was like he, he drew this gap between us so yeah nothing happened so I eventually like 
took it as whatever he told me the first two times telling me that he was interested in me that oh he wanted to get to know me more and like date or blah 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 was just all lies so the next day was Sunday and he didn't really contact me so I just sent him like a long text I was like oh hey I guess you're not that interested in me but anyways uh, thank you for the past few meetings for dinner and I hope like you have a f like the last it was the last week really of his his stay in Singapore I was like hope you have the best last week in Singapore and yeah I told him that and so he replied me like I think like an hour or two later and he's like oh no it's not that I'm not interested in you but it's just that I thought that you were not and then I was telling him like oh it was awkward when I went to stay in the hotel and I was like oh I felt like you were not interested and he's like oh no that's not it blah 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 and he's like oh I would like to still continue meeting you and yeah so then I think that was a Sunday so I met him the next day Monday for dinner and he told me like oh you could stay over and I'm like okay I stay over so we kind of dinner and drinks again and then we had a conversation and like we spoke about what I said obviously I mean that was a topic that was gonna come up right so yeah so we had a conversation about that and we went back to his hotel yeah because he was saying like oh he wants to date me and he cannot wait for me to go to Korea so we can spend time but so, I mean if someone tells you that like you believe it right and like the way he said things was just so believable okay maybe I was an idiot to fall for all those lies I guess so I stayed that night and yeah and for his last week in Singapore I basically stayed the entire week with him until he went back but the morning he left, I just had this uncomfortable feeling because like right before he left, he was like, child is so. So it's like, be well, which was kind of weird to me because he told me he was going to c continue like talking to me after that. But I felt that was weird. So I didn't think anything about it. I checked out of the, of the hotel uh, because I left later. But... Before I left, because uh, some hotels in Singapore have handies, so I kind of took down like the two numbers that he contacted the most on the handies, just in case anything happens. I always have to have a backup plan. Right? So I did take the number and I left, I went to work, and usually he would text me because he knows my work timings, so he would text me, oh have you woken up, oh have you gone to work, so I did he didn't message me so I thought okay maybe I should it's like oh I just woke up and I'm going to work now uh, I'm getting ready he didn't read my message cause kakao if you read a message the one you know yeah so he didn't so something felt weird and like the whole day I know his flight was at night the whole day he didn't read my messages so something felt weird and then the next day the next day, I tried to call him. I mean, like, even if someone blocks you, the call rings, but the other person won't receive it. So, I kept, I called once, and I tried, like, messaging again, like, are you okay? But there was nothing. So, I have the cacao blocker, block checker. So, I used that, and it said that he blocked me. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, right? So because I took down those two contacts, so I was like, okay, you know what, I'll just give it one more day. And then I got them frustrated by Sunday. I'm like, if you're married or if you have a girlfriend, just freaking tell me. Do not just fucking block me. So that kind of pissed me off. So I kind of messaged his friend and I told his friend like, oh, is he married or does he have a girlfriend? I mean, like we were meeting for two weeks and then all of a sudden he goes back to Korea and he doesn't like contact me anymore. I'm like this isn't right so he was like oh okay uh, I understand and then he was like his friend was really nice and so he said just give him a few days he will get back to me so I think like two days later his friend created a group chat with the three of us in it so he added three of us and he was like oh and then he was like oh have his friend was like oh have fun talking and then he left the group chat 
and then he started to talk to me. So he was like, oh, when I change, he was like, oh, when I change my SIM card, I don't know why I couldn't find your number or you just like, I couldn't find our chat at all. So yeah, and I was thinking to myself, how the hell does that even happen? I was freaking blocked. Don't come and bullshit to me that you couldn't find my number because I was blocked. I mean, why would why would changing SIM cards block someone, right? So I didn't say anything about it. I just like, oh, okay, fine. And then we, we just continued talking from there. But because he would go to work in the morning and he would come back like late at night, so it was really hard for us to talk sometimes. So like gradually, like, when we when we were talking like it just became lesser and lesser and eventually I just came to the point like oh he's just too busy for me I can't do this so I just dropped him and recent like recently we we had a conversation like maybe two weeks ago so I was talking to him like we were saying like oh how are you because I think he just came back from his business trip from the US so he's like, oh, how are you, blah, blah, blah. Then he's like, oh, have you found anybody that you like? I'm like, oh, no, I kind of over that. I mean, if someone wants to find me, I'm there, but I'm just too lazy to find anybody. So it's kind of telling him that. And then he tells me that, oh, Nan, what uh, what did he say? He said like, oh, Nan, sometimes some you jaga chaja so, uh, same year so. He was like this. So it's like, he's like, oh, I found a, because in Korea they have this, thing where it's some so I guess it's like a fling for us it's a some relationship which is a fling for us then he told me that and when he told me that I'm like why the f, f are you even telling me this like I don't really give a fuck like seriously like are you trying to get a reaction out of me or something I don't know so like I was like, oh, Chukai, at least finally found like a girl. And then, uh, he's like, he suddenly is like, oh, uh, I hope you find, he suddenly tells me like, oh, I hope you find someone, blah, blah, blah. And then I just didn't reply him because I didn't really find that point because I just asked him, how are you? I didn't ask anything else and how was his business trip, that's it. So I just like, ended talking to him because he was just weird. Like, did he lie? to me or those times like oh I haven't found a girl blah 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 this and that so I guess he lied so yeah sometimes I have Korean guy friends who are really nice cause it's just guy friends and nothing else like they are really fun and they are super nice and blah 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 and then you meet like someone like this and you're like the fuck like why would you meet someone like this? And I'm like, I'm never ever ever meeting someone off the app ever again because it's clearly a dating app. So I was like, I'm just going to stick to my language app where I meet like really like sincere like people who just want to be friends and who want to learn English and who just want to teach me Korean and just be friends. So I was like, yeah, I'm just, you know, so done with such men. In like Korean men and I know like there's this thing where Korean men like oh you know I had something with this, a foreign girl blah 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 I know like it's a thing in Korea but you don't freaking go and lie to them if you just want to have something just say it don't like give them false hope I mean I just I mean not all men I'm not going to like yeah well shouldn't that's another thing Yes, so that was about it. I mean, you want to meet someone, it's fine, but I guess you just gotta be careful and pick up signs and whatnot, I guess. So, yeah, that was my story. If you guys, I mean, enjoyed that boring story, I guess it was boring or whatever. But if you guys enjoyed it, do click the thumbs up, please. Share this video so that more girls will be aware of such men in this world. And 
also subscribe I mean I would try to do more stuff but I'm just trying something new because I actually have a lot of weird ass stories when I went to Korea or I don't really have it in Singapore but most of them in Korea so yep so see you guys bye